What is going on, everybody? My name is Nathan Payne. You don't know who I am. I'm a real estate investor. And uh, you're probably wondering, what the heck is Nathan doing right now in a mall in front of Blue Notes? And that's a store I've never even heard of. Okay, well, let me tell you guys. This is why I love wholesaling. This is why I love uh, doing my job. It's because you can do it from anywhere. You can do it from a mall. And what I'm doing right now, again, if you don't know why I'm at the mall, I just moved to Canada last week. Yes, I'm in Canada. I'm in a different country, but I'm still wholesaling real estate in the United States. And I'm going to show you guys exactly how I do it today from Canada in a mall. Now, why am I in a mall? Well, I just moved here. My car needs some work. And uh, there's a mall, like a tiny little mall right by the Canadian tire where I'm getting my car worked on and to get new tires. So I'm like, yeah, go to the mall, hook up to some Wi-Fi. I hope you guys are hearing this and it's not coming through uh, all like choppy. I don't know if the internet, how good it is here, but it seems to be working. Uh, but anyway, I've been working here on my computer all day. And uh, while my car, I got to get new tires. I got to get it in, like inspected, all this stuff for emissions and whatnot in Canada to make sure my car is fine to drive here, whatever. But anyway, I'm doing this all from another country, guys. So does it matter if I'm in a mall in Canada? Does it matter if I'm in Canada or China or the Middle East? Does not matter? You can do this job from your laptop. Uh, even when I was in Utah, where I lived before, where sellers, I could go drive and see a seller. A lot of the times I just said, hey, uh, we can just deal, do this whole thing over the phone. I can meet with you if you want, but we can just deal with this thing. The whole transaction, I can do all the paperwork, everything over the phone, and I can just send you all the contracts and everything you need over uh, the internet to your email. So a lot of the time, sellers, even in my own backyard, when I could go see them, they didn't even, I didn't even need to. I didn't ever go meet them. Now, sometimes a lot of people say like, it's very beneficial. You can go invest in your own backyard. So you can do that. I deal with everything over Zoom. I deal with everything over the phone or, um, you know, virtual meetings. So it never really bothered me. It wasn't a problem. So me being here in Canada, it doesn't change anything the way I do business. I do business virtually. I wholesale virtually. So I'm going to show you guys my process and how I'm going to continue to do that from Canada and how I'm doing it right now in a mall. Uh, as I wait for my car to be done, okay? And again, I've never heard of Blue Notes. That must be a, a clothing company here in Canada. I don't know much uh, about Canada, really. I, I'm, I decided to move here because it's closer to my wife's family, and we're buying a farm, and I wanted to live out in a rural area. And uh, I come here a lot, actually, like with my, um, you know, to see my wife's family over the last couple of years, and I like it. So we said, let's move out here. I felt good about it, so we did it. So that's why I'm here. And I'm showing you guys how uh, I'm going to wholesale virtually using Batch Leads. So shout out to Batch Leads. We're going to show you guys the process, um, some of the lists that we're hitting, uh, that I'm hitting, a lot of the clients that I work with are hitting, and um, we're going to go for that. So if you guys are watching this, give me a little like, give me a shout out, tell me where you're watching from. I always love networking and helping others uh, hit their goals and uh, doing deals with people. Let me take. I went to Burger King here. They got a Burger King. And it's like packed this, at this mall. The Burger King is, is the place to be. So I, I gave it a shot. It's pretty good. BK, baby. Where is it? Right here. Burger King. They're not paying me to advertise them, as, advertise for them, but it's whatever. So how am I getting deals in Canada, right? A lot of you are probably like, what? How does that even work? Let me show you. Okay. So let me share my screen. So looking at batch leads, guys, this is a software if you don't have it. I'd recommend checking it out. If you DM me, I can send you my link that will get you access to it uh, for a free trial. So I'm still going to be investing in my, my market, Salt Lake City and in other markets, but let's just check out Salt Lake City, Utah. So pre-foreclosures is a, a list that I really like hitting. So all I have to do while I'm in Canada, virtually in another market, uh, another country, I just have to go and mark the area that I want to target. So if I want to target North Salt Lake, I can right here, North Salt Lake, or this must be Salt Lake. Let me get this thing out of here. It says support. How do I get that out of here? Come on. There you go. Come on. Get that. There it is. Clear. Okay. So all you got to do, depending on where you have buyers, I like to go where my buyers are. So all you got to do is go boundary, mark the boundary. So let's say I have buyers that are looking for properties in West Valley City, which I do, right? I can mark it. And then I specifically go hit the pre foreclosures, right? I get all the pre foreclosures, I select all of them and I save them to my pre foreclosures list. And uh, once you pull, pull the list of all the pre foreclosures, there's only 32, right? So there's not that many that it's not that hard to get a hold of these people. Like you just have to filter the list. My goal is to get a hold of all the pre foreclosures in this area and just say, hey, 
you know, my name is Nathan Payne. I specialize in working with people in pre-foreclosure to help them either stay in their home or we can help you buy it. Or obviously, if you want to sell it, we can help you take care of that. We have all these different uh, options in order to help you with your, uh, you know, the situation you're in. I'm sorry you're going through that. Like, obviously, you want to be empathetic to the situation. But guys, it's as simple as that. Then you pull the list, you skip trace it. I'm not going to click into this because I'm, I'm streaming live and it shows a lot of the data that shows like it will flag the stream and be like, oh, this is too good the information to share. But basically, there's 32 just in this specific area that we can reach out to and find the, um, you know, what's going on. So that's that's as simple as that. Now, uh, what are some other good, you know, lists to hit? Well, tired landlords are always good. Absentee owners. The only issue with tired landlords, in my opinion, and absentee owners is you've got to filter through quite a big, as you guys can see, like these are big lists. you got a list stack if you want to get it smaller. I like pre-foreclosures, Okay. You can obviously look at deals that are on market. That doesn't cost you any money, but that that's mainly what I like to go, to go for. So uh, it's not very complicated, guys. Like this business is not, uh, you don't have to overthink it. It's mainly get a list, get something that you feel confident reaching out to and uh, make sure your marketing message and what you're saying is different than the rest. If you're just calling your like, hey, do you want to sell? Do you want to sell? Do you want to sell? That's not a very compelling message. Everybody said that, says that. So when you go for the pre foreclosures, which I like to do, you want to go in there with the uh, what's the right the ta not the strat. Well, I guess you could say the strategy of like how can I help you? How can I serve you? Not like hey, let me buy your house. You're behind on your payments. Just you know, you got to be empathetic again to the situation these people are going through. It's a tough time. So anyway, guys, I hope showing you that was helpful. I didn't want to go too long on this call because I am at the mall. We got a bunch of people walking by. Not that I mind. I I do. I've been doing this all day. But, um, you know, just thought I'd be, make it quick today. We've got some a co some comments coming through. This says, Humble Am I. Mm, I like that. That's a good name. Washington State. I love it. Washington. What part of Washington are you from? Uh, I like Washington. I served my mission in Portland, Oregon. So Washington's right above. Kennewick is real close. Love the area. I think it's awesome there. Seems hard to do it here. So a lot of people feel like that. I felt like that in Utah for a long time. A lot of people... Wherever they're at, if it does, it can feel like that, but you just have to be going for the right strategy. You have to be targeting the right list. I think you have to, your marketing message needs to be on point. And what a lot of people won't tell you is majority of the deals that people get are through consistent follow up and building up in the pipeline. Just the low hanging fruit of just like calling someone and immediately doing a deal with them usually doesn't happen. Now, can it happen? Yes, but you usually have to cultivate and filter through leads. And that's usually how people get deals. Now, if you're doing pay per click, if you're spending money and those leads come in and they're high, they're highly motivated or you think they'd be highly motivated, but that's not always the case. But that's when you can do deals quickly if they're calling and they're specific, uh, sorry, filling out a paper quickly and they're specific like, hey, I need to sell right now. And then you can capitalize. But just keep in mind, if you do that, there's also competition because people don't usually fill out one form when they're looking to sell their house. They fill out five or 10. So just, just know that, you know, there's competition in everything. So how do you set yourself aside out, apart from the competition and how has it become easier? Well, what I teach is called the painless flipping strategy. It's not just making low ball offers at 70% of ARV minus repairs, minus your wholesale fee to get that offer. It's navigating the, the situation the right way to get the seller exactly what they want to help them accomplish their goals and then making the offer. I never make offers just like immediately, like where I'm like, oh, this is where I need to be. Can you accept it? That's not how I roll. I don't like to make offers until I understand what they need. And then I, I construct and form my offer that solves their problem. So I'll give you one, another example. So I just moved here and the house that I'm buying, I got it at about $30,000 less than list price, even though there was another offer that was paying more than I was. How did I do that? Because I found out what the situation was and I constructed my offer in the terms and the way I, the, the, the close date, the non-refundable earnest money, my due diligence, I constructed all that so they felt way more comfortable working with me and someone else I was even able to pay more. So guys, if you're missing out on deals and you're like, man, this is hard, I don't know what I'm doing, you gotta make sure you're, you're forming your offers the right way. I've beaten a lot of people by offering less, by knowing the situation and making sure that my offer met the needs of the seller. When the other people, they just do like a 14 day due diligence, maybe don't have a lot of earnest money down. For me, a lot of the times, because I know what buyers I'm working with, I can go in with offers and say, Hey, I can do, give me one day of due diligence to double check everything. I got $50,000 of earnest money that will go hard, non-refundable after the due diligence period. And 
so on, right? To make it better in a close date, 14 days, or hey, I'll close on it and then the seller can stay in after 30 days after. So that offer will beat the person that's 30 or $40,000 above it. Why? Because they feel like it's more real than the person that's like, oh, I can pay asking price, but I need 14 days due diligence. I need, I can close in 30 days and my non refundable or my earnest money is like 5K. So my offer is more aggressive, it's cheaper, but it's more aggressive and um, it just seems more real. People want certainty a lot of the times more than they want a higher price. Price is not always the main thing that people choose. The highest price is not always the, high, the thing they choose, right? Hence the, deal, the house that I'm buying right now, okay? It wasn't the highest offer, but they liked it more and it met the needs of the seller, okay? So anyway, I wanted to come to you guys, like, like I said, from Canada, from the mall, as I wait for my my car to be taken care of at Canadian Tire, show you guys how I'm gener getting leads, pulling the proof of closure list, and letting you guys know it is not about the highest offer, and it's definitely not about just lowballing people and just crossing your fingers and hoping they accept it and just following up with them. Hey, are you gonna accept my offer? Are you gonna accept my offer? Once you make a crappy offer and you just say, hey, that's what I can do, you've lost your leverage. I don't make up my offer until I feel like they're ready to accept it. I'll give them an anchor, I'll give them a range, but I don't wanna give a solid offer until they're, I know they're gonna say yes or we're gonna find a solution to help them out. So if you guys are feeling like you're just making a bunch of crappy offers and you're not winning or you're not succeeding, well, just look at the way you're framing your offer and does it really meeting the seller's needs and what they want. And if you don't know, if you're like, I don't know if it does, that's a problem. Okay, so I'm here to help you guys. That's why I do these calls. So make sure to come on these lives so you can ask questions. If you guys don't have any questions right now, I'm gonna go see if my car's ready. But might go check out some clothes at Blue Notes. Or guys, remember that Batch Leads has got your back. You can use it from literally anywhere in the world. Pull your leads, call some sellers, do deals. It's pretty dope. All right, everybody, have a great one. Wish me luck that my car's ready while I'm here in Canada. And uh, if you guys uh, go check out that uh, the Whopper. Today, it's Wednesday, so apparently they got like a, a discount on Wednesday for Whopper Wednesday. You didn't even know. Look at that. Amazing. All right, everybody. Peace out. Hey, everybody. What's up? It's Nathan Payne, and for the first time ever, we just released this insane training bundle that has literally everything that I've learned from doing a combined 4,000 deals in real estate, all from starting with absolutely no previous business background experience or any real estate experience. Plus, there's over $19,000 worth of free gifts that we're throwing in all for an insanely low, low price. If you want to get your hands on this, be sure to click the first link on the description below right now.